In this video, we're going to look at a per unit tax and then a lump sum tax to see which one the consumer prefers. Suppose the government places a tax on a consumer. Again, this could be a per unit tax or lump sum tax. We're going to assume that both taxes raise the same amount of revenue for the government. And we're going to show, despite that, the consumer prefers the lump sum tax. So let's start with some basic information. The consumer's budget, consumer has $100 of income, and before any per unit tax, the price of good X is $1 per unit, price of good Y is $1 per unit. We will put a tax, a per unit tax, on good X. So the tax will be $3 per unit of good X purchased. Therefore, the budget constraint will now equal 100, the amount of income, equals the price of good X plus the tax on good X times the units of good X purchased plus the price of good Y times the units of good Y purchased. So making our substitutions, uh, 3 plus 1, the consumer will be paying $4 for each unit of good X. And since the price of good Y is $1, just got one Y or Y here. So that is a consumer's budget constraint. Let's maximize utility. Uh, by getting the mar marginal utility of good X and good Y. I do that here, uh, partial derivatives here of the utility function with respect to X gives us Y. The partial derivative of the utility function with respect to Y gives us back X. Setting up a utility maximizing condition, the marginal utility of good X divided by the price of good X plus the per unit tax will just simply be Y divided by 4. And the marginal utility of y divided by the price of good y, marginal utility of y is x divided by the price of y is 1. We're going to simplify that, and we get y equals 4x, just multiplying both sides through by 4. We're going to take this y equals 4x and plug it into our constraint. So doing that, uh, where we see y, we're going to plug in 4x. So we get 100 equals 4x plus 4x. 100 equals 8x. 100 divided by 8 is 12.5, so x equals 12.5, and the number of units of good y the consumer will choose. We plug this 12.5 back in here for x, and the consumer will choose 50 units of good y. The level of utility at this consumption bundle, 12.5 units of x and 50 units of y, is 625. Notice the government tax revenue in this case is just going to be the per unit tax, which is $3 times the number of units of good X purchased, which is 12.5. So multiplying those numbers together, the government collects revenue of $37.50 from the consumer. All right, let's now look at a lump sum tax. So the lump sum tax scenario, the lump sum tax will be $37.50 equivalent to the amount of tax the com consumer paid under the per unit tax structure, or the excise tax structure. So how do we incorporate that information? We're going to take the consumer's income of $100 and we're going to subtract $37.50 from it, leaving the consumer now with $62.50 to spend on good X and good Y. The price of good X is $1. There's no longer per unit tax here on good X. And the price of good Y is $1, as it was in the first example. So our budget constraint is 62.5 equals X plus Y. Setting up our utility maximizing condition. Uh, if you do that uh, and, and simplify, you're just going to get this nice result, Y equals X. And we're going to plug that into our budget constraint, our new budget constraint. And doing that, uh, 2x equals 62.50. Uh, dividing through by 2, x equals 31.25 units. And y, since y equals x, y equals 31.25 units. Our level of utility here, you'll notice, is higher. So therefore, the consumer prefers the lump sum tax over the per unit tax. So to sum up, utility with the lump sum tax is 976.56, as we saw right here. Utility with the per unit tax was 625. 
So the consumer prefers a lump sum tax over the per unit tax, despite the consumer's tax bill being exactly the same under both tax scenarios. The lump sum tax, and the intuition behind this, is the lump sum tax only reduces the consumer's purchasing power, whereas the per unit tax reduces the consumer's purchasing power and also changes the relative price of good X and good Y. So in that case, it is a little bit more harmful to the consumer. All right, I hope you found this video helpful.